Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about my online clients, Abhishek, who's from India. And in this video, I'll share with you his recovery over the last eight weeks. How's he getting on now? And where is he in this stage? Abhishek was a very special client and patient for me because when he started his rehabilitation plan, he asked me one question that whether, Bob, would I be able to travel to Canada in eight weeks time because He's been granted to study in Canada and he was not sure whether is he able to recover and be able to do his day-to-day -day activity pain-free and be able to study over there. I was 100% sure that he can recover by a bit of clarity and a guideline. And in this video, I'll share with you his story and he's gonna go through what has happened to him over the last basically six, seven months and how is he getting on right now. If you've never been in this channel, my name is Bob, I'm a physical therapist. And the purpose of this channel is to help people like yourself with simple tips and exercise for quicker recovery. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for my weekly update and don't forget to press that like button. Let's get started. I think I would like to share your story today with people like yourself because I think since you started your rehab plan with me, um, it was eight weeks ago. And eight weeks. I think you watch uh, different videos that I put it on my YouTube channel and, and you got kind of like motivated, okay, I can get better uh, by myself. Um, and today I would like to, you basically share your own story and what happened, how did you contacted me, what was the process and how you're getting on so far with your rehab because I think we got in a, in a really good stage of your rehab that you're doing better and and you have a lot of plans going yeah. forward with, with, with your the proof as well. Yeah, exactly. And you got your <laughs> second MRI which is kind of yes. like give you more than just like, you know what, uh, my symptoms is getting better, but, but also MRI shows that actually, you know, your, your, um, um, disc is improving as well, like visually, you know what I mean? But maybe yeah. you start, um, Abhishek, for people who are watching this video, tell me, yeah. you tell them the story, you know, what happened? So, uh, you know, in my story, there are two parts. So I will not go, uh, in my first part that deep. Because uh, because I started with you in my second phase. Of course. Uh, it, it all happened one and a half year ago. But at that time, I didn't, uh, went, uh, didn't go for the MRI. And also, I didn't know about, uh, you know, that I had this bulge. I got you. So, uh, it happened in gym in first time. And I got some leg pain. But mm -hmm. uh, my back was strong. So I thought it's just a muscle spasm or some nerve is pinched. It will heal uh, on its own. And it That's healed. True. But again, and then after two, three months, you know, uh, when I didn't go to gym and I started again, I got that pain again. But it was at that time a little bit severe, uh, a little bit more. Uh, so, you know, at that time I went to doctor orthopedic. So... He told me that uh, because I had my strength, I was able to do gym, but I was feeling the leg pain. So he told me, uh, you should do these kind of exercises. And gotcha. uh, he sent me on, you know, that nerve pain medicine, that cover fix and something like that. So yeah. he told me to uh, take those. And uh, after a few months, my leg pain was gone. But uh, I used to feel pain in certain angles, like, when I bend down or something. So I avoid those things. Yes. Then after so many time, I started my gym again uh, this year in the starting. And I went uh, to the gym for three months, three to four months. And I trained pretty hard, like two hours in the gym, doing supersets, then exhausting my body with, you know, uh, the failure to the failure set failure. and then yeah. doing cardios. Because I didn't know that I have uh, this bulge because I never went for MRI. I got so you. So one day uh, when I came to home uh, from the gym and the next day uh, when I woke up in the morning, I felt, you know, pain like in my uh, hip area. So it was different than the uh, first time, but I knew that it, my, my nerves, uh, is pinched so I straight uh, went to the orthopedic uh, the new doctor because my old doctor was out of town 
Gotcha. So he told me that because again I was fit, I was able to do everything in the gym. So he told me that uh, by your you know strength, I don't think that you have that much you know dispersed or kind of. Gotcha. Thing. So I will uh, put you on some exercises and uh, cover fix anti. So I told him that I had this thing one year, uh, you know, uh, a year ago. So I insisted him that I should go for MRI. <laughs> so he told me, okay, if you want, you can go for that. So I went for the MRI. When I got my MRI, I knew that I have this problem because I used to see uh, on YouTube that this is dispersed. But I didn't know that how severe it is. So also there were a there was a term fi- spinal canal stenosis. And when you know when everyone will search on Google what is spinal canal stenosis, uh, like so they will only get that answer that it's you know due to bone degradation and it it cannot be reversed. So the only definition you will find on internet this is. Yes. So I got scared. I went to my orthopedic. Uh, he saw my scans. So he told me that okay, of course you have this bulge. Uh, he explained me that this this bulge is pinching your this nerve. That's why you are feeling that. But you are active. You are able to mm-hmm. do gym. Yeah. So I would say that continue with that. Avoid these exercises. And uh, so I asked him that. But what will happen with my this bulge? Like mm-hmm. I want to know that will it be better. Can I go back to you know my discus will go back to normal state? He told me that uh, okay, like in some day in future, of uh, you will get you know that much pain that you will need surgery. Okay, which means he said that in some stage you have yeah. to till that avoid yeah yeah but till that avoid these kind of things and enjoy your life because he was a gym guy that <laughs> doctor also. Uh-huh. He is a gym lover, so he, he suggested don't go to the gym. Um, no, nah, he suggested me go to the gym. Uh huh. But he said that, but one day you will feel pain. It will trigger. It will go. Uh, you know, uh, a bit. Aggravate your symptoms. Yeah. And you get too sore, and you need to do surgery. Yeah, yeah. So I was still finding the answer. I got so you. So I I went to another orthopedic, and uh-huh. he scared the hell out of me. Okay. He straight forward, uh, you know, did some testing SLR test, and he said, "Okay, by your MRI reports, you have, yeah, you have disc bulges, but if I see you in this condition, I, I don't know how you are walking right now." Uh-huh. Uh huh. So he told me that you should avoid these. He he, he just declared me, uh, you Don't know you. that uh, you shouldn't do anything. Disabled. Yes, yeah, he yes. just declared me disabled. Just like you I, mentioned, yeah. um, 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 just you mentioned, um, Abhishek, you mentioned about SLR test. I'm going to leave a link up here for people to understand what is that test means, yeah. how they do these tests, because that's a, one of the common tests that we do um, as kind of like orthopedic tests that you basically check the nerve quality and you see, okay, if that actually aggravates your symptoms. This is one of the tests that they do, SLR test, and it has... Um, high sensitivity, etc. But okay. Um, then he told you basically you need to do surgery. Basically, he said don't do anything. He, so he didn't uh, uh, say that uh, you should go for surgery. He said uh, you don't need surgery right now. But mm-hmm. also, you should not do anything. Uh huh. You just live your life like a normal person. Like like you are. He just declared me disabled. Like uh, then I asked him that uh, sur- about surgery. He said uh-huh. that. Even if you do surgery, you cannot do anything. Like you cannot play football if you like to. You just need to do, you know, rest, just do normal walking. These kind this of stuff. Nothing very intense. So, like, I still remember that night. I went uh, to my car. I cried a lot. I called my mom. I said that 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 thing he said to me, mm-hmm. and you know, my mind was just <laughs> destroyed. Uh, yeah. Then because, uh, because at that time after four months, four to five months, I was going to Canada to start my new journey. Yes, yes, yes. So so many things was invested on me, my dreams, my family dreams. So I was, you know, in that I was in a hell like kind of situation. So okay. I I just stay at home, uh, stay on my bed, just you know because orthopedic told me no, 
so they they have no answer got you uh, only surgery and uh, because you know surgery after surgery so many people get that pain again so it's not a permanent solution get you and then i uh, try to search on youtube and i got one uh, physiotherapist who is uh-huh. uh, kind of you know uh, famous on youtube uh, he is from india mm-hmm. and I, i got some hope so i uh, told myself okay i i need to meet that person mm-hmm. and when i uh, you know booked a appointment with him on that day i remember uh, he didn't listen to my whole story it uh, the session was over in i guess within 15 minutes he told me in my story he said okay i got the idea okay you have this and this and this by mm-hmm. your mri report after this think i will send you the youtube links of uh-huh. exercises about diet and all that and believe me uh, those youtube links and those exercises they were not customized got you all he used to send uh, those videos to everyone so it was you. not customized according to your uh, you know problem i got uh, you so that was the thing and after doing that those exercises i felt some pain and mm. i uh, texted him about my pain that huh. is sent back so he it's been 5 months and <laughs> he he didn't respond to me he didn't okay. respond he didn't respond to that message okay yeah. i get you so then then i was uh, broke down because that was my last hope and i used to stay at home for one month i cried a lot i used to be in pain so much pain like i i wanted i want to sleep but i cannot sleep because of that pain i was in that uh, in that uh, you know severe yes, pain yes yeah. yeah and after that my sister took me to one you know that uh, who do massages or something gotcha. kind of thing in yes. india we we have those kind of people of course so i don't believe in those people but yeah if i can get a little bit hope or i can get a little bit better yes i will do that thing a of person course. will try everything yes so i went to that person he did something and uh, i got better i was able to walk so it yes. was a little hope for me it calmed But, down symptoms in some yeah way. yeah got yeah. you but uh, then he told me that whatever uh, was in my hand i mm-hmm. did that mm-hmm. now it will heal with time got you but i knew that okay now i am back a little bit back in my form but mm-hmm. i need to find someone so i can boost my recovery because i didn't have any uh, plan to follow like gotcha. what should i do because i am not experienced in that i got gotcha. you so so then luckily so again that's a miracle i found you on youtube and i, gotcha. I saw the video the first video that i saw yours was uh, that guy from dubai who had oh, yes. this one yes yes rani yeah then i started watching your all videos like all testimonials so i got like yeah this is a person i should i should contact him but again i am in india you are in ireland i was like how this can happen I got because you. we are also scared that you know these kind of things are a little scary of course i, I contacted you first time on uh, your videos and you replied to me so i got hope okay he's replying to me <laughs> i got you then i called you uh, yeah i left a message a voice message on your call one day i got you so yes. i uh, yeah but i was not hoping a call back because again i thought he used to get a lot of you know messages voice calls yes. he will not call me and of course it's an international call but you called me so i was yes. very happy to you know see that someone wants to see like who is calling me and wants to see uh, you know if i can cure i can help for him yes so you called me you told me everything like okay this can be healed so you gave me a, a lot of confidence then after some weeks i started my program with you and uh, you know the good thing about you see i don't I, uh, at that time whether the result will be like even if the symptoms will not improve or will improve it doesn't matter because on the very first day of our meeting you listened to me whole like 
uh, it was one one or thirty minute session. You didn't stop me in yes. between, so you uh, heard all, all my story, and you Absolutely. said that okay, it can be healed. And I was worried about that spinal uh, canal stenosis word. Yes. Yeah. You were the only person. You were the only person who told me that okay, it's not that bone thing. It's a different kind of thing. Of course. You you were the only one. so i got hope and we started our journey and uh, yeah in starting i got a little you know it was tough to do exercises because it's been a month laying on bed my whole muscles was stiff yes and with time we progressed and i was feeling better uh, got home and then on my fifth week i went to a trip and i told you that i walked 18000 steps and then yes. i did 15000 steps yes uh, pain at night but it went down in the morning Yes. So, yeah. Which means Now, your recovery got much quicker than what it used to be. Yes. 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 Absolutely. And then, uh, finally, three days ago, I got my MRI, and in my last MRI on my L L five and S one disc bulge, uh, there was a nerve which was pinching. It's gone. There is no uh, disc bulge is there, but no nerve is uh, pinch, pinching anymore. Uh, pinch, oh, yeah. Exactly. And in L four and L five, there were two nerves. Now there is only one nerve left, and yes. and the space of my canal it also uh, opened. So on my L four and L five, it was seven millimeter the space left, and on my L five and S one, it was eight. And now the both are on ten ten. So mm -hmm. I'm very happy to see that. Mm -hmm. And that spinal canal stenosis word, it's gone. Yeah, 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 because because yeah. you just explained that to people. Sometimes, due to the way that the disc bulge happening, that can um, narrow the spinal canal, which is basically we call it spinal canal stenosis. You know what I mean? And it's not due to the bone spur or or osteophytes. It's due to the basically the bulge, the way that it it actually uh, blocking that whole canal and um, can cause symptoms of basically you know um, I suppose foot pain. tingling and sciatica symptoms let's say you know what i mean and um tingling sensation etc but that's something that if if you look at it is not a permanent thing in some cases and people can conservatively manage it like yourself because initially walking was a huge problem you weren't able to walk you know it wasn't yeah. comfortable like how was how was yeah, the walking initially also. abhishek yeah so uh initially the walking was difficult but the sitting was more It's difficult more. than walking yeah, yeah yeah it was more difficult uh but with time my sitting uh, you know the time of my sitting uh, got increased because i told you that i i have a lot of work on my laptop of course. so now i can you know sit for long hours like 2 3 hours but again i uh, use I, i nowadays i take a break after one hour like you said i got so you it's a good thing i got but, you yeah yeah if in some situation i have to sit for long hours i can sit for long hours exactly now the two things that you mentioned about your mri that i think it would be good to highlight for people i think it was something that you were looking for answer on it one, one was that um um disc degradation you know what i mean which means if yes. there is a degenerative changes that happen in the disc height which in your mri what they were calling that uh, um abhishek uh, in my mri disc uh desiccation i guess desiccation that's it this yeah. desiccation which you, they were saying that um, and you asked the doctor and you were reading about it online that is that ever get better yes yes and yes, and, yes. and you were having this fear that this desiccation is never get better and is just going to be a permanently get worse and worse by time but yeah. as you can see in your second mri is actually it looks better than the first one and they did, yeah. they didn't men mention that anymore on the report they mentioned the disc desiccation but if you see on scans i guess mm -hmm. the disc uh, you know that uh, white area which represents the fluid part yes yeah, it improved is improved also because i can see uh, the bulges are getting back and also the spinal canal stenosis is gone and that millimeter so the measurement so yeah of course it's getting better it's yes. a small thing but now i know that so it will heal with time just need to uh, you know Uh, go with my life like I used to do. 
Absolutely. So, and step, step, about step by step, building up um, your routine. And I think right now you're getting ready in few few days time to go go to Canada, yeah, which was Canada, a yes. huge, huge deal for you initially, man. You know, and you didn't know whether can you make it or not. And I'm delighted that yeah. this man you're going. But beside that, I think um, the, the amount of confidence, you know, that you gain about your body again, because initially your question was, can I go actually to Canada, you think, Bob? Yes, yes, yes. I was you know, very scared. Like... Whether I will be able to, you know, be in that seventeen hours flight, and after that doing, you know, odd jobs. So you told exactly. me that uh, just uh, don't think about that. Just focus on your, uh, you know, recovery on your, uh, you know, the plan I gave you, and with time you will see changes. And of course, I saw some pretty good changes, and I have that proof as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And Abhishek, if I ask you, what did you find helpful in the routine that you're following as well? You know what I mean? What do you think that has helped you the most in regards to your recovery? So, uh, first, I will say that the mobility exercises, because mm -hmm. in the morning, the whole body, you know, kind of like, find like the muscles are stiff. Yeah. Uh, so, to open those muscles to, you know, rush the blood flow in those yeah. muscles, the mobility exercises was a uh, you know, a huge thing for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, the exercises. So, of course, we started with basic exercises and increase or Which intensity. A plan. Having a plan, yeah. basically. Yes. Uh, so, plan. So, yeah, I love... Because I am I used to go to gym. So, I, I was very happy to get something. Like, at least squats as well. So, yeah. I was happy to... Uh, when whenever that day comes when i have to do my lower body workout i was very happy yes uh, so i i found all this plan you know very effective and uh, you know i i was happy while i'm doing all these exercises exactly Pain, but happy yeah but i want to ask you in regards to that you're tracking the exercise and you had a structure and a plan that you were following do you think that was helpful in regards to your recovery yes because uh, you know, uh, like I used to track my steps, also my, you know, whatever I am eating, the, you know, macros and, mm -hmm. uh, and the side thing. And also, uh, there is one column which I loved uh, that we added. That is, if I am doing anything beside my this workout, mm -hmm. like going to shopping, going to, you know, party or outing. So I'm also mentioning that. So all those things and mentioning my symptoms on that day, pain level and tingling sensation. Mm -hmm. So this also helped me at, at night that, okay, I can see the previous day and the current day, like how I, I improved myself. Yeah, so it's a great, means, uh, visually you see, you're, you're progressing basically day to day. And I think that um, built your um, physical and mental confidence that I'm actually improving. Yeah, mentally, because I was mentally disturbed. So yes. That's a huge thing that, you know, stop you from everything. Exactly. So uh, Absolutely. So I improved my mental uh, state also. Absolutely. And one thing that I think, Abhishek, um, I don't know, um, I think we discussed this about a lot with people as well, and I talk about this a lot. And um, how did you find that, um, I think one of the things that I mentioned to you initially that stop reading about things, Abhishek, you know what I mean? If you have any question, come back to me. How do you find that? I've... I've been that pace <laughs> when I was at home. I used yes. to read a lot. Like I said in my first appointment, uh, uh, appointment as well, that uh, I read that sp about spinal canal stenosis, disc desiccation, mm -hmm. you know, all this pulse that uh, this pulse can be healed, but spinal canal stenosis cannot heal. Pretty scary things on internet. Yes. So I suggest yes. that you should not read uh, things like you should. Because, of course, you want to know that what happened with you. But yeah. you should go to someone who is experienced and then stop reading those things. Exactly. And, uh, and listen to that person because he is experienced. He know, uh, what's, you know what causes uh, that, that pain that you are uh, you know, feeling. Because exactly. everyone has different kind of things like you said. Like uh, maybe it's due to that or maybe it's due to that. Of so course, of course. stop reading because... Yeah, because on Google, uh, they mention things, uh, a common thing, like uh, a journal. 
kind general of, answer. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Not yeah. based on your report or your symptoms, symptoms etc. Yeah, and I think that usually can create a lot of catastrophe and fear for you. You know yes. what I mean? Which you start to panic, and and the reality is that you know um, if you go to your case, things can be so different from what you read. Um, um brilliant. Um, um, Abhishek, is there anything else that you like to uh, share with people? Like, I don't know. Like, is there anything that you didn't talk about it, or you find helpful that you like to share, or you want to add? Um, I would be happy you to share with people. So, <laughs> I I would say one thing. Like, uh, if someone wants to see, like, uh, if you will mention my uh, youtube link so every so that the first day when i created my video i was yes. in that journey yes so someone can see that how i am enjoying my life still being in that pain and doing my workouts and everything so amazing uh, if someone wants to see that like even if you are feeling pain don't worry about uh, about it uh, you know do your things like uh, the doctor mentioned you like the physio or chiropractor anyone uh, so and also enjoy your life because it will divert your mind from these kind of, of things and the recovery will continue it Comes will with time. Uh, you know with time it will heal but don't think like uh, you will not heal okay i am healing or not like in my routine i used to say that uh, to you that i used to see that whether my i'm feeling that pain again again so you you said to me that don't test your pain uh, just leave that absolutely and focus on your exercises and those things it will one day you will do some exercises and you will see okay it's gone now absolutely so these things happen absolutely so it means just, like you know you learn that you don't uh, to don't test it, your pain constantly yes yes and not keep poking it That's so yeah. Important. Yeah. Thank you yeah, for sharing that. Do these things and yeah. enjoy your life for sure. I will definitely share your YouTube um um link, uh, Abhishek, with people because you know what the thing is that there will be people who will ask you question about your recovery and you can share with them, etc. Yes. I will be happy yes. to do that. Sure. And I'm delighted, man, with your with your recovery. Thank you for sticking to the plan. Um, we are not done yet. You know, we still carry on. Yeah. following up your plan and and we get you my goal is to get you back to the gym and as soon as i mean you're moving now to canada and i think you need a bit of time to settle down there and um, the new plan is going to be to get you settled down there and you find a gym and we get you slowly back to the gym and and progress your plan which i'm really excited but um Abhishek, thank i'm, you I'm so excited much. too Yeah, same here, man. Have a safe trip, man, and and I'm I'm really excited about uh, your next step, and we can share that, and I will share those links with people on my YouTube. Yeah, yeah. After after gym, we will make another video. Of course, yeah, man. We will share your progress because um, I think the most important thing is don't give up. Find a bit of clarity, follow a plan, and and keep pushing it forward because our body is adaptable, and. Yes. by having a little bit of clarity and ha- following a plan that you can measure it you know what i mean and you can trust in that plan you should have 100% trust on the plan otherwise it won't work you can get a huge response of your recovery which i think that's a key factor and and i suppose uh, i'm delighted to have you as part of the part of the crew of um testimonial man you know <laughs> i appreciate your t- yeah. time and 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 um, i yeah, i texted you on your uh, one of your video that i want to get into this hall of fame kind of thing yeah, your testimonial yeah, hall yeah. of fame kind of thing so this is the day <laughs> yes, i ma- made it <laughs> of course man of course man i'm, I'm delighted happy, about that man. actually I'm, i'm delighted to see you getting to the point that you're going to canada and that's a huge huge feedback for me that i'm delighted man i couldn't be happier you know keep keep doing what you're doing man i'll, I'll thank I'll you post- so much not at all thank you for st- for sticking to the plan thank you for watching this video i hope you guys find this video helpful if you're suffering from lumbar disc bulges herniation or if you having a sciatica symptoms you can always basically do something at home to get you started and gradually build up i would like to leave a link for you here that you can follow this routine step by step for your recovery however if you need further assistance you can always book an online consultation with the link below and i can create a customized plan for you and get you start right away as you can see i consult people globally all around the world and help them with a bit of clarity about their diagnosis and understanding what they can do and what they shouldn't do and based on that we can gradually build them up and get them to full recovery you do have a chance to recover and if you never try it you never know make sure to subscribe my channel for my weekly update and don't forget to press that like button
If you have any question or concern, make sure to leave me a comment on the end of this video and I would be more than happy to help. Until next week, all the best.